All right, guys, so for math today, we're gonna be doing some addition practice just to keep up our skills here. We are going to be making, um, or solving addition problems by also making a flower petal project. Since it is spring and um, trying to enjoy all of those springy things, um, what we're gonna do is I want you to draw your flower kind of like I have it. It's gonna have some empty slots here doesn't have to be perfect. I also have a printout that you guys can do if you wanna do that instead. But what I want you to do is on the inside of each petal, we're gonna figure out how much it takes to add up to 10. And you can decorate these and make them as beautiful as you want to. So I'll give you a few examples and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So I've got five plus five could be in this petal because that equals 10. Nine plus one. I could do 10 plus zero. I can do six plus four, that equals 10. I could do something like eight plus two. So we've got our 10 flower completed. And you're solving while you're doing this. So what I'm gonna do now Flip this guy around, and we're gonna do the same thing for nine. So let's draw our petals in. And you do not have to do this as fast as I am. I've been doing this for a long time, so take, a, take your time. Do this as nice and slowly as you want. So we're gonna find ways to make nine. So let's see here, how can we get nine? Hmm, we could do six plus three. We could do nine plus zero equals nine. We could do eight plus one, that equals nine. We could do five plus four. We could do seven plus two, seven, eight, nine, yep. They all equal nine. So it's pretty simple and fun. I want you to at least do four of um, the things that I'm telling you about. So the nines and the tens. We're also, I'm gonna put that to the side and we're also gonna do the sevens. So you guys know what to do. We're gonna stick around here and we're gonna make our petals. Thank you guys for joining me for this addition practice for this lovely Monday. Okay, so now we need to find some addition problems that equal seven. So what makes seven? Well, an easy one to start with could be six plus one equals seven. How about five plus two? That could be another. Always my simple one. Seven plus zero is still seven. Uh, let's see. We could do four plus three, and that equals seven. Hmm, let's think of one more. Let's see here. and we can still sometimes use the same numbers. So I would say two plus five. I know it's reversed and opposite petals, but that'll still work as long as you're adding up to seven. And you guys know what we're gonna do next. I gotta get my tape so I can show you guys, but we're gonna turn this around and then we've got one more to do and yeah, you can keep making these if you want, or if you need a break, that's okay too. But we're gonna do for number eight. So we're gonna make our petals. And then we're gonna fill those petals with our problems that equal eight. So we could start with something like four plus four equals eight. We could do, 
seven plus one equals eight. Eight plus zero equals eight. Five plus three equals eight. What else could we do? We could do six plus two equals eight. So um, thank you guys for sticking around and doing this with me. I'm so proud of you. You rocked it. I can't wait to see your flowers. I hope they're much prettier than mine. But yeah, happy Monday. And I'm so happy to be practicing addition with you guys. Miss you.